All right, what's up, guys? So, Police Crime Action is uploading a video titled The Most Insufferable Spoiled Braddy Karen. Dang. Talks like the insults. <laughs> it just it can't pile it up, but she probably deserves it. But anyways, the most insufferable spoiled Braddy Karen cops have ever encountered in their entire life. Yeah, let's go ahead and check this out. I just seen the first second, and it already started off wild, so... Yeah, let's go ahead and see what this is all about. Make sure if you guys haven't, go subscribe to Police Crime. Okay, action. I don't know why I thought I seen auction for a moment. Look, bro, it's 6 in the morning. I should be asleep right now. But anyways, let's go ahead and get to the video. Stop, you're going to hurt yourself. I don't have anything better to do, you dumb fuck. You want to Wow. This girl is crazy. On May 27, 2024, officers were dispatched to handle oh, an incident at a okay. nightclub where a caller reported a serious disturbance caused by a young girl. According to the information received, the girl was trying to get in the nightclub That's and crazy. when denied entry became confrontational and was not heeding any requests to stop, contributing yeah. to the commotion inside the venue. So I guess ain't no different than the one video I seen with the dude. He was mad because he couldn't get inside the bar and stuff and was flipping out. And it's like, fam, if they don't want you there, go it, it's like it's probably a good thing too that you don't go in there because it like i feel like whatever situation you're dealing with outside it could be 10 times worse once you get inside so yeah that's why i'm like fam people if you go out somewhere and you're not welcome just leave that's honestly the best thing that you could possibly do well, you need... Need... i want the lawyers okay. here okay. lawyers now you're not going to have me. a seat then have a seat okay. and act right no you can just go right in the cell. No. Come on. Stop. Stop. Okay. Just make sure there's nothing in her pockets. No one touched me. Slow. Don't start. Okay. It's crazy. You gotta it's pop like, your shoes off Both of those cops, even one of those cops, I just feel like because she's made a, making a lot of like extra movements, but I guarantee that I promise you even one of those cops could have sent her. If it hadn't been for like, oh, like, let's check her pockets and all that, even one of those cops could have sent her to her jail cell. Yeah, I'm like, lady, you got, you got some when issues. When officers arrived at the scene, they encountered a highly aggressive female who was at the center of the disturbance. Her behavior was disruptive, and she was using abusive language and offensive words toward anyone nearby. Despite the officer's efforts to approach her calmly, <laughs> I like she how was she's looking. She's all like, damn, beginning. what? What is her deal? <laughs> Don't touch me like that. No, don't try to come off into my nightclub acting crazy and stuff. We're letting you in. Have a nice night. We're going on the back. Don't touch me. When the officers began asking questions to investigate what had happened, the girl refused to engage in a meaningful conversation with them and was unwilling to explain her side of the story. Instead of cooperating, she questioned the officers about the reasons behind their investigation. This constant like, questioning made the situation more that, difficult for the issues. officers, who were trying to defuse a chaotic situation. There you go. Put each other over. I'll call the cops on you, you idiot. I am a cop. Yeah, you can let go. I got both. Use the power, you idiot. You got a grip. Really? Yes, sir. So you guys have better stuff to do? Not a little touch me. So I, yeah, I do have better stuff to do, but people call me for people like you, which takes me away from those good things that I could be, or whatever those things that I could be doing. But yeah, it's like it, it, it's just when people carry on like her. Yeah, it's very well. They ain't put in. Uh, did they? No, they ain't put in title. They they should have put in title in the uh, title of this video. Please let go, I don't want you touching me. Honestly, I don't right, right, right now you're my responsibility. But I think you're gross. Uh, I'm okay with that. Although they attempted to de-escalate the encounter, asking the girl repeatedly to calm down, she refused to do so. Her aggressive behavior continued, and as it became clear that she was not going to cooperate voluntarily, the officers had no choice but to take immediate action. Given the nature of her disruptive and potentially dangerous behavior, they decided to place her under arrest. As soon as the officers attempted to arrest her, the girl's resistance intensified. She physically resisted being detained, kicking the officers, and verbally demanding that they release her. 5-1 has a female once. All of you are gross. Do you guys have better stuff to do? 
he's that. like saying that they're gross like what okay and i'm like i it's it's things like that where it's all like ma'am what do you overall please explain how am i gross because i'm arresting you i yeah that's just huh? I, I don't i don't get that now? six five has a 41 i'll be coming she should not be drinking should be nothing i'm not there. getting in unless i'm aware you have to get in, hun. Stop. 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 Right. You're just gonna You're get gonna another get charge. I don't care. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. I don't care. I'm not gonna get on that. She was not this content girl is to comply crazy. with their lawful commands, and her physical aggression further complicated the arrest process. Nevertheless, the officers were able to secure her and place her in a police vehicle for transport to the station. The arrest was carried out with significant difficulty as the girl continued to resist throughout the encounter. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Are you kidding me? You fucking idiot. I can't really make out. It's like it's dark and stuff. Yeah. Three months, but a girl with a Watch it. Got her. The it doesn't even make any sense the scene of the to be carrying on like that in the first place. It's like, lady, you that's it just overall shows that she doesn't have anything. I don't know. I I'm not trying to sound disrespectful when I say it, because it's like it's not too late. Like she easily can um, you know, do something productive with her life. But yeah, it's like it this this video just shows me, and I'm like, we're only four minutes in the video, but it just shows me that she ain't got nothing um going good in her life. So she figures, oh, I'll just drink my problems away, go to the club, party and all that stuff. And it's like, lady, okay, go out, find somebody that cares about you. Wherever you guys decide to go from there, go from there. But yeah, it, it's just it's one of those things where it's like there are better things to be doing than going to a club every whatever night you do decide or even if it's every night regardless there's better things to be doing than just going to the club and getting drunk so the arrest to the police station did little to calm the girl down during the entire journey she remained verbally abusive and uncooperative she directed her aggression toward the officers in the form of offensive language refusing to cease her disruptive behavior even as she was being taken into custody Okay, well, they're going to get off of you when we get to headquarters, okay? So just relax. Five one Belmar. I'm like, lady, you're the one getting drunk and going out in public, and you say that I need to have better things to be doing. It's like, ma'am, I'm doing a job right now. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Explain to me, how is it that whatever it is that you're doing right now is better than what I'm doing right now? I'm getting paid doing what I'm doing. You, on the other hand, it's just you're losing out on money for whatever alcohol you're buying and on your life because you ain't even going to probably remember half the stuff that you're doing tonight. So. <laughs> One three eight three eight. Oh! You cannot right now. You're under arrest. Here. Can I call my friends on these? Not right now. Please. No. Sir. I'm like, what are they gonna do? I'm just your transport. Okay. But we're about to be out. It's only it's only like a quarter mile away. Hey, Jen. She, I guarantee and I promise you ain't nothing wrong with her. She's just only doing that as an act. Just breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. You can't. You're under arrest. Would you like me to open the window for you? Jen, in through your nose and out I know, of your mouth. All like, I just did that. You can't right now. You can't right now. You're fine. Just in. I need to get out of the car now. Okay. Let me out. Okay. All right. Well, this is all recorded, just so you know. I don't give a fuck. Okay. Well, I'm gonna get you out in literally 30 seconds. Shut the fuck up, you Okay. Yeah, I don't give a fuck about you. Idiot. All right. I'm just trying to be pleasant with you. Okay. Yep. Wow. Please call my friends. Not right now. I'm like, what can they do? 
or like if you got like if your friend group or a bunch of lawyers i'm like fam you need to like get into their profession you need to be a lawyer you need to do something productive with your life but if this is what you call productive i'm like i right, ma'am i'm sorry the thing is, is this and it's like i don't even mean to say this like in a like to or at least to be dark but it's like you're I guess life ain't going to be all that memorable, you know, it ain't going to, so that's what I'm saying, I'm like, people, put down the alcohol, put down the drugs, put down stuff that's taking away from your life, start picking up some things that's actually going to improve and do better for your life, but this, I mean, this, this is your, going to be your fate every single time you decide to go, um, get drunk and go to a club and start hassling people, but you can later. When you're released. Female refusal to comply with the officer's directions only added to the tension of the situation. The officers, however, remained professional and proceeded with their duties despite her challenging behavior. Once they arrived at the police station, the situation did not improve. If anything, the girl's behavior worsened upon arrival. Rather than calming down or cooperating, she escalated her aggression further. Yeah. We're just going right over here. Well, unfortunately, I don't want you to touch me. Too bad. I'm in here. Stop, please. No. Stop, don't touch me. I don't want you, I don't want you to touch me. And then walk up on right. your own. I just have to get your purse off, okay? I don't care. It's hooked on to me, idiot. Can I go home? Nope. Why don't you take a seat and take a breath? I, okay. I actually need to go home now. Okay, well, I'm you need to. Lawyers okay. here. Okay. Lawyers now! You're not going don't home. Touch have me. a seat. Then have a seat. I don't and care. act right. No. Okay. You can just go right in the cell. No. Come on. Stop. 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 Okay. Just make sure there's nothing in her pockets. Thank you. No Stop one touched me. Slow. Don't start. I okay. Don't. Hey, you gotta pop your shoes off here. What's your name? Stop. You're gonna hurt yourself. I don't care. I'm gonna my foot oh, one more time. It's so Stop, 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 stop. I want to go home. I'm not. Can you my shoes off, you idiot? Hey, hey. Thank you. Right, go home and get your lady. This needs to, to be a life lesson for you. Let's go to the cell. I'm not moving. Everything good? Okay. okay. Well, we'll we just can help you, but I would much rather you walk on your own. All right, Jim. We're going to pick gonna you up, all right? Stand up. Wait. Nice and easy, okay? Right there. No. I don't want her bracelet to break. I want these off and I want to go home. Okay, well, <laughs> stomping on my foot and kicking your legs around is not going to change that. I wasn't doing anything wrong, you idiots! I wasn't. That's the thing, like, I literally wasn't. Okay, great. Ah. Oh. Stop. Stop. She physically That's assaulted crazy. the officers, kicking them and resisting their attempts to process her into the station. Her outbursts at the station were more intense than those at the nightclub and in the police vehicle. The officers had to take additional measures to subdue her and ensure that she was safely placed inside the jail. Her non-compliance and violent actions required the officers to remain vigilant to ensure the safety. I'm not I'm not no, stop. Take this off of me now. You got her legs out? You need to stop, okay? You yeah. want to go home? Then stop. And just, just listen to what go. we said. Let me go. Let me go home. Stop kicking. So you guys have better stuff to do, you idiots. Well, go arrest somebody that's too How many stupid. times has she done? I, yeah, I, I was even keeping count. I should have been keeping count. She's been calling them idiots throughout this whole video. And it's like, lady, I don't think you understand. It, it's when, okay. Because it's like, if you put this video in a courtroom where it's you versus the police officers, the judge, the jurors, the people that be sitting in the back that just be watching, you know, they, yeah, they're, they're going to be looking like, ma'am, how, how, how are they idiots? Like, hey, this is just, man, I would really love, I, I don't know, maybe that's just that reaction side of me, but I would really love to just see when these people, like, after they then sobered up and all that stuff, like, they play this video back to them and they show them how they're acting some probably would laugh about it. Some probably would get upset and be like, you know, I'm sorry you guys had to see me in that state. But yeah, it, it's just one of those things where it's like, I, I really wish you could, I, I just want to see how they would genuinely react to these videos. Bad, you 
And she probably would laugh because I feel like that how she's acting tonight. This isn't her first time acting like this. She's probably been acting like this ever since she was a kid. And it's just one of those things where it's like, I've who knows? Maybe this was her first time being arrested. Maybe she's been arrested before. But yeah, it's, it's definitely something where I'm like, she had signs. Probably people told her, you know, the way that you act is just going to lead you into a world of trouble. She ain't listen. This is her world of trouble. Well, now you got her attention, so you got to... No, with you, idiots! So you don't have anything better to do, you dumb f***s! Ow! Ah! Ah! Sam, if you Jen, walk... Stop, stop, hurts, stop. Hurts, okay, you're making it hurt. It hurts, it hurts, it lower it hurts. Stop. You guys are hurting me! Yep. You Stay right there. Stay right there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually, you guys are a big loss. Any fucking guys? Okay. Yeah. Best of luck to you. Best of luck to you. What's your name? I'm Patrolman Lead. Lead? What's your name? Patrolman Lead. Okay. My lawyer's will be calling me soon. Okay. Just have a seat. We'll be right back. Don't fucking do it. Don't fucking do it. Okay. Well. Now you definitely catch some charges. You take back up. Oh, you want to touch me? Oh, you want to touch me? This girl is crazy. Get the f*** out of the cell. You f***ing crazy? You want to punch me like that? You want to punch me? You f***ing dead? Hey, scrub hair. Once she was secured in the jail, the officers were able to turn their attention to the necessary follow-up procedures. They completed the required documentation related to her arrest, which included a detailed account of the disturbance at the nightclub, her aggressive actions during the arrest, and the continued resistance she displayed throughout the process. They had recorded her abusive language and physical assaults against them, ensuring that the incident was properly documented for any future legal proceedings. Cool. And um, no... Hey, yeah, I'm like, fam, I, you know... I, I just, and this is something that I've said before. I've been drunk one time in my life, you know, and I, that's the thing where I'm like, and maybe I, well, I, I refuse to get to that level of drinking. Nah, I never do that again. But I guess like if I wanted to experience what she would have to experience, it's like, it would have to be like years worth of drinking. So I, I honestly, that has to be the only answer. It's like years worth of drinking, entitlement growing up. And, uh, yeah, it's like she, it just, it led her here. But I just remember the one time where I got drunk and I felt like I was, yeah, I was like, I was out of it. Like I was, you know, I think I remember, yeah, saying that before where I was walking like a, a walker from the walking dead. But, um, other than that, I'm like, I, bro, I was, I felt like I was still, conscious to like things around me like I could still vividly remember that night and it was years ago so I guess I didn't get blacked out drunk but I was overall drunk all right I did have too much to drink because uh the the throwing up afterwards told me that I had too much to drink but um yeah it's it's something where I'm like I just don't get it like why drink so much you know it's just yeah do with me i'm like and i just was uh recently like at a uh like a for me at least it was like a big life event and um family was there you know and i feel like drinking was an option but still it was like i i even because it was like no it was a family member that sat next to me and they had some alcohol and it was just the smell of it i was like Nah, I, I just, yeah, I got me, I, I, instead of a beer, I got me a root beer. I know some people might not like root beer, but I'm like, hey, I'll take that over some alcohol. But anyways. Water lab? We don't have any other water right now. That's crazy. I'll look for a cup here in a second, but I have paperwork to do everything else, okay? Yeah, that's fair. So I'm parched and I need water now. Huh? I'm like, okay, okay, well, this isn't the Hilton. <laughs> don't care. Huh? Okay. Okay. Would you like to keep acting like acting like this and stay till six in the morning, or be released with, when your father gets here? I didn't ask to call my dad. I didn't. I never called your dad. I don't even know how they found out. But I spoke to mom on the phone. She said your dad's on the way. As long as you're fine, I'll release you to him. Okay? Yeah. Right. Can I have a cup? If I can find a cup, oh, absolutely. Cool. Cup? Hey, how you doing? Hey. I'm patrolman Lee. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You're Jenna's dad. 
Yes. I, I, I just, I don't know. I just seen dude right here. And I'm like, that's them cops. I'm like, if you, that's definitely, that's a, a boyfriend, cousin, or a brother. Ain't no way possible that is her dad. I'm like, un I'm like, unless your dad just look good for his age. But I'm like, maybe if the camera gets closer, we might see some wrinkles. But I wasn't even paying attention to him. I just, so my, my fault to the, to the actual dad. But I was like, yeah, I saw a dude right here. And I was like, ain't no way, bruh. Might be a while. She still ain't acting right. So, um, she still wants to demand water like this is the Hilton. She's still screaming at us, calling us names. So, I mean, I'm not really in the practice of getting disrespected and then just letting somebody go early. So, I know you came down here. Um, I'll give her a shot for another 20 minutes or so. And then if she's fine, we'll get her out to you, okay? What did she do? She don't want to I mean, I can't really tell you. Um, she's an adult. She's 24. But she's got some charges. So, there'll be a court date. Um, I'll make sure she has all the paperwork when she leaves. But, uh, yeah, her conduct has not been wonderful. So, um, Does she know I'm here? Yeah, yeah. No, I let her know. Okay. Yeah, I mean, she's been accosting us over water, which I gave her a cup of water before, and she just wants more and more, and tell my dad, and this and that, and, okay, unfortunately, Can I see her? no, no, not right now, like, we can't let civilians back in there, I apologize, That's right. all right, no, I mean, I get it, she's safe, she's in the cell, she's not, you know, harmed or anything like that. I'm like, is she 24 years old? I'm like, fam, you, that, if, if I was, the thing is this, and I'm not in no position to be, I guess, giving out no father advice because i'm not no dad but i think if i was and i was in a situation like this i'm like fam you're 24 years old correct i was like last i checked 24 years ago we were in a hospital you know like well your mom was doing the work but yeah she was birthing you but me as a parent i had to make sure of it for the first 18 years of your life i had to be a father figure to you all right now you would think that you would take some sort of uh like learning lessons from me being a parent or you know just overall me being responsible because it's like my thing is this unless he did some irresponsible stuff growing up and then she just took notice of it and did it herself you ain't never seen me do that why are you doing that because of your friends fam them the wrong type of friends my thing is this the type of friends that you need to be having are friends that are not going to get you into a world of trouble all right so it's like, I, and regardless of whether it's a little bit of trouble or a whole lot of trouble, regardless, the only type of trouble that you guys need to be getting in, and I guess this would be the gamer side of me, it's like, yeah, get in trouble in a video game. Play Grand Theft Auto and get drunk and do crazy things on there. Yeah, go uh, infiltrate an airport and steal a plane. You know, blow up a bunch of cars, crash a car into a gas station. Do stuff like that. In game, though, in a video game, but in real life. Yeah, it, it's like, you know, your your actions, they are going to have consequences. You know that. All right, I'm pretty sure you heard that somewhere. So instead of trying to act like you on some MTV uh, reality show, I'm like, fam, no, your name is Jen. Wherever they're at, that's where you live, okay? You are an average person. You are nobody special. Act like it. Um, but her actions right now are completely just uh, ridiculous. So. Oh. Alright, we got this. Oh, hold on. Yeah. Just make a right when she goes out the door. Right this way. And then just, no, not this one. All the way down. She's still singing. Like, I know. The thing is this it's either she still carries on like this till this day, or there is going to be a time where I'm reacting to another one of these types of videos. I'm gonna be like, dang, she looked familiar. Then somebody gonna come and I'm like, hey, remember all the, um like some time ago you reacted uh to her, to her video and stuff. Now I gotta go back and check. And I'm like, oh yeah. So it's either she does carry on like this, but it just doesn't make it onto YouTube, or um yeah, it's most likely she she gonna have a whole channel dedicated to her. All right, you toss your sneakers on. Oh, what? They've been here for like two hours. When I didn't have any water, right? Okay. It was a far drink. The water's on. She's still on your property. Where's my phone? You didn't have your phone with you. Um, let's see. Charges, there's noise, interference with business, defiant trespass, assault and resisting the court date i'll circle on here for you 
It's going to be June 12th when at 9 a.m. What's that? When do y'all get charged with? As far as what? Can you guys actually cut me in there? Okay. Can you give me water? I got you water. Yeah, after my long asking, do you have that on video? Sure. Cool. Can I have that cake? No, you can't. You'll have, have to ask for it. Cool. I'm going to call. Okay. But your dad's out in the lobby. I got your charges right here. Um, just June 12th, 9 a.m. Like, yeah, them cops, they, well, who knows? Maybe it's just because they ain't want her to be there anymore. But my thing is this. I would have had her in her cell till 6 in the morning. And about like I told her six, I probably would have showed up at like six twenty, six thirty, and things just to keep in there a little bit longer and stuff. But um, yeah, I you know they uh, better better cops than I would be. And then I would just also contact the court, make sure nothing changed with the court date or anything like that. Okay. Are you proud of yourself? For making a big arrest. I didn't arrest you. Oh, just you know, just make it right. This way. Okay. Just like this way. We're just going towards the brown us? door. I don't know where I'm going. Just right towards going. the brown door. What's your name? Patrolman Leave. First name? Eric. Eric Leave. Yep. Okay. Your dad should be right out here to the left. You just to the left. Okay, have a nice day. Have a good one, sir. That's great. Later. The female was released to her father with charges included C charges, noise interference with business, defiant trespass, assault, and resisting. She was to appear for court on June 12th at 9 a.m. In court, the evidence presented highlighted her aggressive behavior at the nightclub, her refusal to comply with the officer's instructions, and her physical assault on them both during the arrest and at the station. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button, share your thoughts in the comments section, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. To stay updated on our future videos, click on the notification bell icon after subscribing. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Yeah, that girl, I'm like, she definitely got issues. I'm like, that just don't even make any sense to be carrying on like that. Because it's like, honestly, though, who... Now, I feel like they do it to impress people, and it's like, who are you impressing? Like, honestly, because I, if I, my thing is this, if, let's, I don't know, a dating show, or just if I was in a relationship with her, that's something where I'm like, we're even just friends with her. I'm not going to be impressed by that. What's going to impress me is I can see you act your age, or just as far as acting, because I feel like, yeah, there's people, it's like, you regard, I don't know, I just feel like that. Because I just think, I will, at my age, um, 24, yeah, I wasn't carrying on like that. So, yeah, it's just, to me, it's, I, you know, stuff like that doesn't impress me. What impresses me is, like, seeing you act like an adult, carry yourself in a way where it's like, you not even so much as people look at you in a professional way but you look at yourself as a professional person so it's like regardless of what people think i want you to look at yourself as a professional person but you have to act like a professional person you can't just be going around carrying on like how she was thinking oh yeah people are going to have a respect towards you i guarantee and i promise you everybody be disrespecting this girl and she can't do absolutely nothing about it and that's just something where she has to live with that she has to like honestly i feel like that she like people make comments about her people say things about her, like right there to her face because they see how she carries herself and they're all like oh well it's she don't care and i guarantee and i promise you people be saying things to where it just breaks her down in the inside she i guarantee and i promise you she don't probably at least had multiple moments in her life where she just sat down and cried because it's like she can't have a normal life so yeah it's things like that where it's like lady get your life right, get it together, stop, it, like, you know, I guess getting into it with the cops, I feel like this ain't her first time, but who knows, but if it was, make this your last time, all right, so, but anyways, with that being said, make sure you guys go subscribe to Police Crime Action for more videos like this, like, subscribe to me too, and I'll talk to you guys later, thank you guys for watching, and peace.